are these people? Unfortunately, this is not a light heart. Well, most of our stories are not lighthearted, but this in particular, I and this should be getting a lot more attention than it is. So I'm kind of a little disappointed, I think, especially in independent media that has not reported on this. Uh, I know Russell from Due Dissonance talked about this on the Jimmy George show, I think, yesterday, I believe. Yeah. I know Richie Methurst also talked about this. Uh, we actually are going to feature Richie in the segment later. Um, and as far as I know, that's it. You know, um, which, again, I think it's very disappointing given the severity of this story. Um, but even Mondo Weiss, uh, kind of, kind of uh, making the connection to your last segment, tweeted out, the current anti-Senatism panic at Columbia is manufactured hysteria weaponized to quell legitimate political speech on campus and give cover to the larger project of ethnic cleansing in the West Bank, and now, of course, Gaza. So that's going to refer to, well, part of this refers to the mass graves that have just been discovered uh, at Nasir Hospital uh, in the Yon Kunis region of Gaza over the weekend which we're going to get to in a minute. Richie Redhurst tweeted, Frankly, I just don't give a damn about students on elite uni campuses being arrested right now. I'm more interested in mass graves being discovered in Gaza. Are these not the issues the students are protesting in the first place? Why no coverage in the press? You know why. Um, yep. I want to be very fair. I think what's happening on these college campuses are important. Yep. Um, in terms of demanding divestment from Israel. But I can see why Richie would give... feel that way for sure. Yeah. No, I definitely see I definitely see I definitely get why Richie feels this way. Um but if anything, I think the argument he's making here is that this story regarding the mass grace should add fuel to the fire of what's going on in these encampments right now. And yeah. it's not being talked about. So and it's being suppressed somewhat because we know, well, we're going to talk about why, and I'm sure our audience is very smart to figure out the why. So speaking of craziness. There is the, um, there's always the macro and then there's the micro. Um, so AOC tweeted to this morning, actually, what was it? No, yesterday, I think I was done prepping this and I saw this, I'm like, this bitch. Um, <laughs> she tweeted, how are news outlets dedicating wall-to-wall -wall coverage on to campus protests, but not the discovery of mass graves in Gaza of people with their hands tied and clothing stripped? Mm -hmm. Why do we not know more? Why, where are the journalists and resources being dedicated to that story? And I'm not sure if I added it. Um, this bitch! Um... I sent another tweet this morning responding to her, basically being like, you're correct in calling this out, but you're not calling out Biden for demanding to push in terms of looking at Yeah. Colin? Uh, Internet workies? People in love. Uh, mostly people liked it. I think this, what that? Uh, internet, oh. internet went bad. Oh no, internet's going bad again. I'm not you're, sure you're why back. this is happening. Okay. I think. Yep. Um. Right. Okay. Yep. So, so I tweeted this on Monday, uh, in response to Richie's tweet. While y'all are hyper focused on Colombia, a mass grave has been discovered in Gaza during the weekend. The hyper-focus on Colombia is nothing more than a PR distraction. This is the most obvious proof that we are in the midst of a genocide. So I linked the Common Dreams article that I'm going to read in a bit. Um, mm -hmm. But I continued, I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, pa and I said it earlier tonight, Palestinians will be demanding reparations for the ways they have suffered under the Israelis slash the West. The fat fight is coming in the future, and watch how these Zionists will justify this action to not give them shit. So, um, so let's actually get into well, get into this. So, okay. uh, there's this tweet. 
Mm. Uh, breaking, Palestinian civil defense has discovered hundreds of bodies buried by the IDF in a mass grave outside the Nazir hospital. At least 400 bodies have been found with many being children with their hands bound behind their backs. This is a genocide. So if you play the clip, it's short. You're just going to see body bags, basically. Okay. Um, It's one set. Uh, okay. So, Olivia Roseanne writes in Common Dreams, obvious evidence of genocide, mass grave discovered in Gaza's Nazia hospital. Palestinian rescue workers say they found hundreds of bodies, some with their hands bound and others with their skin, organs, or heads removed. Do we so know if this is already counted in that 30,000 that we've, we've heard so many times? No. Yeah. I think it, no, I think it's going to get to that. Um, okay. But I think even that number of 30,000 is a long well, time she's going ago. To talk about it, so. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been stuck at 30,000 uh, yeah. for months now. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Palestinian def civil defense discovered hundreds of bodies buried by Israeli forces in a mass grave inside the complex of Young Yunus, Nasir Medical Complex, on Saturday. Rescue workers that they removed at least 200 bodies as of 12 p.m. local time on Sunday, and they estimated that at least another 200 remain, Middle East Eye reported. We found corpus, corpses without heads, bodies without skins, and some had their organs stolen. To the oh, Director nice. General of the government me media, officials said in a statement shared by Quds News Network, Following the mass graves at Al Shifa Hospital, it looks like Israel is a vicarious death machine turning hospitals in Gaza into graves. The IDF withdrew from Khan Yunus on April 7th. While they occupied the city, they stormed the Nazir medical complex in February, arrested several doctors, damaging the structure with shelling, and rendering it unable to function as a hospital. Al Jazeera reporter Mahoud said the body found in the Nazir grave include children, young men, and women. Rescue said that some of the bodies they have found have been buried with their hands tied behind their backs, according to Middle East Eye. Our teams continue their search and retrieval operations for the remaining martyrs in the coming days, as there are still a significant number of them, Palestinian Emergency Services said in a statement shared with Al Jazeera. Okay. The news came as the U.S. of House of Representatives voted on Saturday to send another $26 billion to Israel, including for military aid, which, as of today, passed through the Senate. Um, I don't think Biden has signed the bill yet, but he's going to. Yeah. So that's another $26 billion out the door. And TikTok banned. And TikTok. Snuck in there. And so... These mass graves are obviously obvious evidence of genocide and the most unthinkable war crimes. And yet, the House just sent off of 26 billion in weapons to fill the genocidal Israeli military, while Israel threatens a full-scale ground invasion to massacre Palestinian The U.S. campaign Palestinian rights said on social media. This is not the first mass grave that has been discovered near a Gaza Strip hospital since Israel began its devastating bombardment an invasion following the Hamas deadly October 7 attack on southern Israel. When the IDF withdrew from the Al Shifa hospital earlier this month, Palestinian German journalist Hossam Shabbat reported seeing hundreds of dead bodies outside the hospital, many that had their hands and legs found and their bodies run over by bulldozers. Al Jazeera reported that several mass graves were found near Al Shifa. Following the mass grave at Al Shifa hospital, it looks like Israel is of a vicarious death machine turning hospitals in Gaza into graveyards. Wake up world. Palestinian politician and activist Hanan Rashrahi wrote on social media. Mohammed Sherada, the communications chief for Euro Med Human Rights Monitor, expressed shock that there was not more media coverage of the Nasir grave. We also agree. So, oh, 
Can you zoom in, please? Because it's kind of hard to read that. Yeah. So he tweeted, Mass graves discovered in the Seattle Hospital in Yang Kunis, today, containing hundreds of Gazians and patients massacred and covered up by Israel. Over 190 bodies found, 100 more expected. Again, I cannot find a single headline in any mainstream media about this. Imagine if this was Ukraine or Israel. Yep. So, actually, since then, you can play that. Uh, you can, it's short, but you can play it. Okay. Um... So, actually, just as an update, I did see some um, mainstream media sources did report on this story a little bit. Um, one that's kind of more intensive from CNN, which we'll get to later. Yeah. Um, but if you go back to the article, over the weekend, the, the Gaza Health Ministry reported that the death toll from Israel's war on Gaza surpassed 34,000. So this is likely an undercount since several people remain trapped beneath the rubble. And I would argue with these dead bodies, no telling how many are there or, you know, so I would argue it has to be at least 50,000 honestly at this. Um, yeah. But Um, so from Kutz News Network, two mass graves were discovered by Palestinians near Nasir Hospital in Khan Yunus, following the withdrawal of Israeli occupation forces. We found the corpses without heads, bodies without skins, and some had their organs stolen, um, reported the Director General of the Government Media Office in statement. Since the Israeli occupation withdrew, more than 180 bodies graves in the Nahir hospital area. The bodies include elderly women, children, and young men. Rescuers recounted witnessing bodies found in plastic bags with Hebrew writings on them. Many of the bodies had their hands tied behind their backs, indicating they were executed before being buried in these mass graves. Okay. Um, so, uh, so this is now because I think I sent this to you on Saturday, I believe. Yeah. Uh, that's when I uh, I pinned this story to, to talk about for today. So, as I said, mainstream media is starting to talk about this now. Um, so, from Reuters, written by uh, Emma Farge, UN rights chief horrified by mass grave reports at Gaza, Gaza hospitals. UN rights chief Volker Turk said on Tuesday that he was horrified by the destruction of the Nazir and Al Shifa medical facilities in Gaza and reports of mass graves containing hundreds of bodies there, according to a spokesperson. Palestinian authorities reported finding hundreds of bodies in mass graves at Nazir Hospital in Yon Khan Yunus this week after it was abandoned by Israeli troops. Bodies were also reported at the Al Shifa site following an Israeli special forces operation. Uh, the Israeli military said claims by Palestinian authorities that the IDF had buried bodies were baseless and unfounded. It said forces searching for Israeli hostages had examined bodies previously buried by Palestinians near Nexia Hospital and had returned the bodies to where they were buried after where they were examined. The examination was conducted in a careful manner and exclusively in places where intelligence indicated the possible presence of hostages. The examination was carried out respectfully while maintaining the dignity of the deceased, it said in a statement. Uh -huh. I wouldn't call that the, respectfully considering that heads were cut off yeah, and organs but, were stolen. But Colin, clearly they were Hamas. Everyone of Hamas. You know? And they just they had to eradicate all of them. All of them were that. So, right. Ugh. 
Ravina Sham Desani, the spokesperson for the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, said the rights organization was raising the alarm because multiple bodies had been discovered. Church said he had been horrified by the report, reported mass grave discoveries and the hospital's destruction, she said. Some of them had their hands tied, which of course indicates serious violations of international human rights law and international human, humanitarian law, and these need to be subjected to further investigations, Shamdas Sani said. She added that the UN Rights Office was working on collaborating Palestinian officials' reports, including one that 30 bodies were found in Al-Shifa. According to those reports, some of the bodies were buried beneath piles of waste and included women and older people. Hamas's Hamas-run civil emergency service said on Tuesday a total of 310 bodies have been found at one mass grave and are here so far, and that two other graves have been identified but not yet excavated. The Palestinian Health Ministry repeated the figure. Turk, who was represented by Sham Dasani at a UN press briefing, also decried Israeli strikes on Gaza in recent days, which said he had killed mostly women and children. He also repeated a warning against a full-scale incursion, incursion on Rafa, where some 1.2 million civilians are crowded together, saying this could lead to further atrocity crimes. Um, so actually, so as I said, CNN actually did something to mm. try to report on this. Um, so Christiane Amanpour um, did, I wouldn't say decent, but at least it was more, like not just a minute um, segment on this. Um, so actually, let's take a look at what CNN is saying regarding all of this. So go ahead. The State Department has raised concerns about the conflict in Gaza in its annual report on human rights. Antony Blinken called it, quote, deeply troubling and noted mm. allegations of war crimes by both Israel and Hamas. This comes as a mass Hamas. grave containing over 300 bodies has been uncovered at NASA Hospital in Khan Yunus. Correspondent Nada Bashir reports on the intense grief amongst the survivors. And of course, this story is difficult to watch. <laughs> For the last 10 days, this mother has returned to Gaza's Nasset Hospital, searching desperately for the body of her 24-year-old daughter, Kothar. She had been buried at this makeshift gravesite in January. Now, her body is missing. <laughs> the Israelis turned the hospital upside down, she says. They dug up all the dead bodies and moved them around. These are the shrouded corpses of those retrieved from a newly discovered mass grave in Khan Yunus. More than 300 bodies have been recovered so far, according to Gaza's civil defense. But the search is still ongoing. This is a crime against humanity, Dr. Al Magaya says. How could the Israeli occupation forces dig up these graves and mishandle the bodies of our martyrs? In some cases, they even opened and removed the bodies from their bags, even though their names had been marked on them. Many of the bodies recovered here were buried by relatives or medics on the hospital's grounds in January as a temporary measure. Israel's relentless bombardment of the southern city, making it too difficult to carry out a traditional burial. Following the IDF's withdrawal from Khan Yunus, families returned in the hope of finally laying their loved ones to rest, only to find that their bodies had been exhumed by the Israeli military, according to civil defense officials, and discarded in this nearby mass grave. I still haven't found my son Khalil's body, this father says. We had buried him over there, but we can't find him anymore. We just want to give him a dignified burial. According to Gaza's civil defense chief, some bodies have been discovered with their hands tied together. An indication, he says, that these may be the victims of alleged field executions. Though CNN is unable to verify such claims and cannot confirm the causes of death among the bodies being unearthed. But this would not be the first time graves have been disturbed by the Israeli military. The IDF previously acknowledging that its forces have exhumed graves in Gaza in order to carry out DNA tests to identify potential hostages. This man points to the palm tree beside which his brother, Ala, had been buried. Two weeks on and his body has still not been found. Under international humanitarian law, graves must, in times of war, be respected, properly maintained and marked so they may always be found. But in Gaza, the Palestinian people have been robbed of their dignity, even in death. Nada Bashir reporting then. The IDF says the claim that Israeli troops buried scores of Palestinian bodies in a mass grave is, quote, baseless and unfounded, saying bodies...
we we got the we got the footage. We the footage is there. It's on camera. She even put me on camera. Like on camera. I mean, I'll do all the all they have is it wasn't me. They are taking the shaggy defense all the way to right. the bank. Okay. You know. Ugh. Oh. Next. There we go. So big saga. Um, yes. <laughs> Kirkland brand. He, yeah. Yeah. He got spoken about this. Um mm. so of course they did a pivot dodge obfuscate situation. Yeah. Uh but let's see how he did it. Follow up uh, on that. And uh, now uh, it seems that more than 300 bodies have been found. The United Nations is uh, asking or calling for an independent investigation. Would you support such an independent investigation? Right now, Saeed, matter? we are asking for more information. Right. That is where, that is squarely where we're leaving the conversation. Right. I right. don't have any details to match, confirm, or offer as it relates to that. Uh, we're aware of those reports, um, and we have asked the government of Israel for additional clarity and information, and that's, uh, we asked uh, them. that's where I'm at. I today. understand. If, the, if Secretary General Guterres asks for your support, in this effort, would the United States support him? You are asking of... to. You're asking about okay. a hypothetical, Said, which again, I'm not going to get uh, ahead of until we have greater fidelity on information as to uh, what this is, and uh, we're hoping to get that from the government of Israel as soon as possible. All right. Ask now, them. what does that tell you, Care Bear? They don't do shit without talking to Daddy first, right? This is what twenty six billion went to. Yep, twenty six billion dollars without any condition for the IOF to continue doing this shit, and they're going to continue. And especially that this invasion—that's what it is. This invasion in Rafah is supposed to happen at some point. You yeah. know, you just arm them. You know, you're basically trying to nuke the rest of the Palestinians that remain in Rafa. Um, yep. <clears throat> so, as I said earlier, Richie did, I know he did an extensive talk on this, and he actually brought up a good point here that I do want to highlight. Um, so, this is a shorter version of that stream that he did, I think it was a couple of days ago. So let's yeah, see Jim. what uh, he says here. If this had happened to the Israelis, they would scream nonstop about this. The two largest hospitals in Gaza, both of them with mass graves in their courtyards, hundreds of bodies, people that have been discovered with their hands tied behind their backs, blindfolds, there are people with their limbs missing, with their heads missing, people with their organs cut out. These people have been executed. These are patients that we're talking about, dumped in, in, a, in a hole in the ground, like as if they're trash. Can you imagine you're in a hospital bed and then you get dragged out in the courtyard and then you're shot in the head? But I hadn't told you it was Gaza. You might've thought I'm talking about the Holocaust, but this is not the Holocaust, this is Gaza. The Israelis are worse than Nazis. The Nazis, when they did these sorts of things, they were hiding it from the rest of the world. But doing it when the whole world is watching you, yeah, it's worse. It's definitely worse because it's, it's, a, it's a shameless act. And the Nazis did not say we are victims as they were carrying out genocide. The Israelis do. That's why they are worse. Anytime you open your mouth, oh, you're anti-Semitic. No, you are anti-Semitic. Netanyahu is from Eastern Europe. Galant is from Eastern Europe. Benny Gantz is from Eastern Europe. These Israeli journalists I just showed you are from Eastern Europe. The Israeli ambassador to the UK is from Eastern Europe. These people are not Semites. They're Europeans. They have come to Palestine. They are killing Semites. 34,000 Semites, they have murdered them and dumped many of them in mass graves. Who is anti-Semitic? Who is the Nazi? I mean, how, how dare they? How dare they even show their faces in public? These people are sociopaths. They're out of their minds. They are a menace to society. They're a menace to world peace. They are the biggest criminals on the planet. The biggest criminals. It's like a, a crime scene left behind by Jack the Ripper, but we're talking about Israel. The West is supplying the weapons and the West is supplying the money. They know this is happening. Nevertheless, despite this, they give billions of dollars to the Israelis. This is the same week that the United States sends Israel uh, $26 billion. I mean... <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. So he brought up something that I found very interesting. So if Hamas did this, Hamas. you should want an independent investigation, especially if you have proof of it, right? So yeah. like, you know, like if you wanted to prove once and for all that Hamas was responsible for all of this, you know, like you will be screaming out the rafters and like, and this is what all these Zionists will probably be using. And it, it would be bigger news than what it is. But the fact that this has mostly gone under the radar, that says some shit to me. So that says that to me, and, and, and I'm going to say this as an opinion, but it really isn't. But, you know, I'm going to, but I'm going to say allegedly, because uh, I don't want the stream to be taken down, that mm. Israel is responsible for this. And they're being yep. very cagey about it. And the U.S. knows this, you know, but they're being very cagey about it because they don't want to indict Israel, again, especially since they just sent them more money for more weapons. Yep. So, you know, so it's very much very telling that the fact that, like, oh, this is baseless propaganda. And that's what I was getting online from this. It's like, <laughs> oh, this yeah. is propaganda and all this kind of shit. You know, well, again... Prove it. If you if Hamas was responsible, and especially if you have to prove, show us. I mean, Israel's game plan has, to me, amounted to basically. I reject your reality and substitute my own. I mean, that's pretty much <laughs> the way they're doing it. But uh, Indy sent me this. I felt like it answered a lot of the, you know talk to the thought you had at the beginning of this, which why was the uh, why is Colombia getting more press than this? You know? Right. So in context is, is going to tell us. Shocking new accounts have emerged of mass graves of hundreds of Palestinians at the Al Nasser medical complex killed by Israel following the withdrawal of Israeli occupation forces from Khan Yunis earlier this month. The shocking discovery follows previous reports of mass graves at Al Shifa hospital in Gaza City following a two week siege. Palestinians on the ground say they've seen evidence that victims were bulldozed, beheaded, hands and legs bound, while some of those executed appear to have been bandaged and injured at the time they were killed. Sources say it's unclear if some of the human beings were even dead at the time they were buried. But I will show you something. A dead body in front of me with bandage or bandages in the leg. He or she was injured when they killed him. The Israeli army killed him and buried him in a mass grave. Look there. He was injured, she was injured, and they killed him for hair. In addition to countless other human rights violations and violations of international law, killing injured people in hospitals is a direct violation of the Geneva Convention. Mainstream media, however, has scarcely covered this story, instead focusing on the situation at the university as part of the coverage of Israeli students feeling upset about Israel being called an apartheid force. The news of mass graves comes just days after the United States announced plans for billions of dollars in further military aid for Israel. Western governments are not complicit in the crimes committed by Israel, but are directly responsible for them. The media's refusal to talk about the mass graves is preventing the governments they are supporting from answering questions about the funding, role and responsibility they play in Israel's genocide of the Palestinian people. The same talking point of Israel defending itself is being repeated, even in the face of yet more evidence of Israel murdering the defenseless, including the injured, and children. Israel keeps talking about Israeli hostages, but every single Palestinian in Gaza is a hostage and is trapped in a prison with no defense against an occupying force ethnically cleansing the land and which views all Palestinian life as a threat and target. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I agree. It's yeah. It, it as I said earlier, this should be adding fuel to the fire. What's happening on, on these colleges ca campuses right now? But it's not because this story has been suppressed, really, uh, in in mainstream media, and I almost would argue in independent media as well. Yeah. Um, shout out to friend of show Nuno. Uh, he tweeted this earlier today, and I added it earlier this evening. Uh, not sure what article he pulled this from, but he tweeted, U.S. won't back and participate in the probe against Israel for the mass graves they found in Khan Yunus. 
where anywhere from 300 to 700 bodies of executed Palestinians lie. The U.S. has been the biggest enemy of the Palestinian people throughout history, even more so than even more than Israel itself. Without the U.S., Israel is rubble. So he, um, I should have asked him where he got this from. So if you scroll down, um, uh, Israel won't back UN call for probe into yep. mass graves at Gaza hospitals. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, nothing to see here. So, pretty much. Yeah, nothing mm -hmm. to see here. Let's not talk about it. We want to justify giving away this money uh, with no conditions at all uh, for Israel to do whatever they want. And it might go to aid. I got that today that, oh, this money is going mm. to aid. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, and how certain, uh, and how certain uh, this aid is able to get to the people who need it. Yeah, Gatorade okay. for the IDF is the only aid they're probably sending, so, you know. Right. But anyway. Oh, well, but, you know. Yeah, very depressing, and definitely share this story. Hell, hell, if you know anyone who's in college, especially if they're in the encampments, share this with them. Yep. Make, have, have them make this a talking point with their protests and all. So... Ugh. I mean, this is this is why we're demonetized. This is why you gotta go to co-v.com slash IndieDews Network. Fill in the super chats or scan the QR code on your screen. Or if you're in the live chat, you can put exclamation mark donate. You can also go to Rockfin and Rumble and support alternative platforms. Um, you know, I also just like subscribe. Very easy. Share the stream, like Colin said. Comment. All that's supposed to help us, you know, get to more people. So allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Um, but yeah, do it up. <laughs> you know what to do. All those things are lighting up anyway. What are you waiting on? Uh, what's the, what, Hurry! They're good. Hurry!